All right, so August 20th, 2016 has finally arrived, the long-awaited date for UFC 202. And tonight, we're all going to get to find out what happens in the rematch between Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz. I woke up this morning feeling excited, and uh, I usually don't get all too excited for any sporting event. Um, <laughs> UFC is a little different, but I wasn't going to put together a video uh, either about about any of the fights, but waking up this morning and the, and the sensation that I have is that something significant is going to happen tonight. I don't know exactly what it is, but I'm going to lay some predictions out there. I'm going to say say something. Figured might as well just put a predictive video out there, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. <laughs> It'll be fun to see um, the difference between my fantasy and the reality of what happens tonight. So, obviously, we've got um, Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor. Long-awaited, huge build-up for this fight rematch um, from UFC 196 where Nate took a fight against Connor last minute like a, you know accepted the fight a week before the event went in there and uh, although he got a little bit um, beat up in the first round <laughs> he's pretty he's a real durable guy like you know Diaz brothers are both um, and uh, came back in the second round. Connor had run out of wind, and uh, Diaz just started tagging him. And uh, pretty soon, Connor went for the takedown and ended up in Nate's jujitsu land, which is not a place you want to be, <laughs> and got choked out. All right, so Connor has wanted his revenge ever since, and um, they were going to fight it. UFC 200, everybody knows this history, but I just thought I'd spit through it really quick. They were going to fight at 200, but Connor didn't want to participate in, he didn't want to fly overseas to participate in any of the um, promotional things for it. So uh, he ended up getting, they ended up getting bagged from UFC 200, um, but they got the date set for UFC 202, which is today, tonight. So, um, <clears throat> A big buildup for this, almost six months worth of worth of uh, buildup. Lots of time to um, for each of these guys to say their piece, and um, lots of you know commercials and this about it. Um, you know, good promotion for a fight. This is going to be probably the biggest UFC event maybe ever. We'll see. We'll see what the draw is, but I suspect this is going to be huge, bigger than the UFC 200, um, at least. So, oh, what do I think is going to happen? I'm su I'm surprised. I've been seeing things in the news about how, as far as uh, the betting odds are going, um, Connor is favored. I don't understand how that <laughs> can be the case, where. Uh, number one, he was beat by Nate, you know, less than six months ago. Number two, he's the smaller guy. Uh, he's he's both shorter and has less reach. <laughs> number three, I mean, in terms of all-around martial arts, um, Nate kind of has it. I mean, Nate's boxing skills are awesome, you know. Uh, he's got some kickboxing skills. His jiu-jitsu is, like really, you know, top notch. And, you know, although Connor has a good skill set, he relies a lot on his um, left hand. And kicks that, although they're pretty fancy looking, don't seem to do a lot of damage in the fights that I've seen. Like when Connor first came into the UFC, when I was first looking at him, um, I thought this was very interesting because here's a guy who throws, you know, a lot of different techniques into the, I mean, he's, he's got a, a great diversity and we're seeing things from him that you don't see from a lot of other guys, um, techniques that you don't see 
being used. And I thought, you know, there have been occasions in the past when a technique that nobody else is using, but, you know, something from traditional martial arts that um, all of us are familiar with, but it's just not been seen in the UFC. There's been occasions in the past when somebody will pull something like that out and just surprise somebody and knock them out. Um, so I was kind of waiting for some something like that to happen with Connor, and it, it didn't. I mean, he was winning fights, but um, not with any of the unusual uh, classic techniques that he was he was bringing in uh, and using to diversify uh, his <coughs> what he was striking with. And then he wasn't originally um, such a showman you know, in, in terms of his um, trash talking. I remember very clearly when he started doing that. And to me, it seemed, it seemed like, uh, it seemed false. It didn't seem <laughs> like his real personality. It seemed like a, a, a show, right? It seemed like trash talk. It seemed like he was trying to be somebody that he wasn't. And um, at that point, I started kind of losing um, my own, not necessarily my interest in him, but I, I stopped be, being a fan of his, I think. And I still want to see what happens with him, but, um, but I started thinking less of him as a, uh, as a fighter. Uh, as a, well, not as a fighter, as a person, right? As a person, because I, I could see he was putting on this false show and it paid off for him, I guess, you know, I guess people like that, you know, there've been people like in the past, I guess what started with Muhammad Ali and uh, maybe even before that, but Ali was really great at it and um, made an art of it, but it really seemed like him, you know, it seemed genuine um, with Connor. It didn't seem genuine to me. Maybe others have different opinions, but yeah, I started losing losing um, my respect for him. And uh, <laughs> then when UFC 196 was coming up and he was going to fight Nate Diaz, I was pretty happy about that because I wanted to see Nate Diaz bust him up, and uh, and we got to see that. That was nice. And second second round, Connor's out, and uh, the king has been dethroned. So, tonight, what's going to happen? Um, I've, obviously, by the title of, the, of my video, <laughs> Diaz for the win, I've got Diaz. I've got Diaz for the win. Um, I don't know what Connor's six-digit training camp bought him, but um, I don't think a guy's skills can change drastically in five months um, to where he's going. I mean, maybe he might have, like, it's 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 always hard to say because anything can happen in the UFC, right? Anything can happen in an MMA fight. Guy can be totally prepared but uh, get caught off guard just a little bit. You know, like, I, I wouldn't have suspected at all um, that last knockout that, that came at, uh, with Robbie Lawler. I mean, <laughs> first round knockout of Lawler, who's wicked durable. And holy shit, you know. Um, yeah, so anything can happen. You can get caught off guard and get nailed, you know. So, <clears throat> but my prediction is that uh, Connor's going to slow down. Well, not slow down. He's, he's always moving fast. He's a, he's a fast mover. And maybe he'll move a little more in this one. Um instead of trying to stand right in front of Nate. But I think he'll try to, he'll take his time a little bit. He's not going to be rushing for a, for the knockout. He's going to still try to get the knockout, but he's not going to be rushing for it like last time. And he's trained, we know he's trained his cardio a whole bunch this last five months, but <laughs> he's not going to catch up to a guy that's been doing triathlon since he was, you know, 16 or 18 or whatever. Um, so... So he's he's boosting his cardio. And he's gonna try to last longer, and I think he's gonna he's gonna 
uh, wait for his, his openings for the knockout a little bit better. He's not going to keep, he's not going to really be pushing for it. Um, but at the same time, you know, what we see from Nate usually is that he'll take a, a round or two and kind of get in his zone. And then, uh, and then he's going to start picking Connor apart, right? Connor's going to give him that time to get in the zone. Um, this time, you know, if he if he's not going, if he's not rushing for the knockout, then that's going to give Nate the time to get in that zone, to get really comfortable, and to get, you know, um, to get in the flow of the fight. Then he's going to start picking Connor apart because he's got the longer reach and he's got the better boxing skills, and his arms are just going to, you know, his arms just fly out there and pop, 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 pop. You know. <laughs> <And> <laughs> And uh, Nate's going to put on the pressure. And I don't think that Connor's going to shoot for a takedown this time. Um, unless he's wickedly desperate. But I just don't see I, Even in that situation, I don't know if he's if he's willing to, to do that again. Because he knows what happened last time. So my prediction actually is that... Um, I, I kind of think that we might see Conor McGregor knocked out on on his feet, like we might we might see a plain old knockout um, from boxing. I know that's a I know that's sticking my neck out, you know, way out there, because Nate Nate's not really known for knocking guys out so much, but. Uh, I don't think Connor's going to shoot. And maybe he will, but I think he'd be crazy to because Nate's jiu-jitsu is um, way, way classes above what Connor has. So I don't think Connor's going to shoot, which means he's going to get pop, pop, popped until possibly he gets knocked out on his feet. But, but that's my that's what I think. I think and you know, I think we're gonna see a, a big upset of the king again. <laughs> and uh and a very happy Nate Diaz. So and maybe I'm wrong. Well but you know, probably I'm gonna be wrong because that's a that's really sticking my neck out there to say that that uh, Nate's gonna knock him out with boxing, but that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm that's what I'm guessing. That's what I'm gonna put out there, and uh, if I'm right, I'm gonna feel really good that oh, I was able to figure that one out because nobody would have suspected that. But uh, that's what I'm guessing. So there's my opinion, and we'll see what happens tonight. I'm <laughs> wickedly looking forward to it. <laughs>